Many people here in Southwest Florida are fighting just to survive and they're forced to make some very tough decisions. Yeah, decisions like food or rent, medicine or meals. Tonight we introduce you to a 67 year old woman named Claire who is struggling to make ends meet. When we met Claire in line at this food distribution in Lee County, she was quiet but friendly. It wasn't until we started talking. I'm going to be 67 at the end of this month and I never thought I would be in this position that we started to hear the worries she's facing. You're just not able to make ends meet, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, it's true, yeah. And how many people are you getting food for today? Uh, three. My husband, myself, and my son who lives with us. She's one of more than a quarter of a million people locally who rely on the Harry Chapin Food Bank every month to feed their families. One in eight adults that don't know where their next meal is coming from. One in six children that have to go to bed hungry. Those are big numbers. Forcing our neighbors to make impossible choices. According to a survey by Feeding America, 80% are choosing between food and paying a utility bill, 72% between food and paying the rent, and 75% had to choose between food and their health care. Sometimes where both parents are working multiple jobs, having to make the difficult choices of what meals they have to cut out, who has to go without food. Harry Chapin Food Bank is here in our 40th year to help alleviate or eliminate those impossible choices. Like some mac and cheese today. Thank you. Oh, good. That's going to go with my chicken. Right, there you go. Enjoy. But they couldn't do it without your generous support. Good morning. Mac and cheese. Donations that provide the nutritious food they hand out at distributions like this one. It's great. I mean, I, you know, you can pick whatever you'd like. How about some grape jelly? Most certainly. Perfect. Okay, thank you. You're very welcome. Claire is grateful and wishes she had the ability to give. Tell me why. Why? Because they've helped me. And it's not just me. There are people that are worse off than me. But, you know, you still feel it. And it's sad. Now, Claire and her husband can't work, but their son does work. He just doesn't have enough hours to help them make ends meet. And that's what we see at a lot of distributions, working people who are underemployed. They're not unemployed, they're underemployed and they just can't make it. So this is why we're doing Wink Feeds uh, March to a Million Meals. And this is WinkFeedsFamilies.com, the website where you can make a donation. We wanna fill up this meal meter, just hit this red button and make a donation. Help your neighbors in need, seniors, children, working families who are really struggling right now. If you can help us, please do at WinkFeedsFamilies.com. And one other group we want to make sure to include here, somebody just donated, donated $50 and said, for the veterans. There are so many retired veterans in this area. There are so many retired veterans who struggle to find food. And so many of these meals that you're helping to pay for, every dollar buys two meals, goes to veterans who've served our country who need the help. That's a very good point, Chris.